Okay, so uh, year nine, we're looking at uh, a new topic called coordinate geometry, and uh, again, something you would have touched upon uh, in previous years. So we need to define the keywords, and the keywords I'm looking at in this first video, in this first slide is axi, the number plane, coordinates, and the origin. Okay, so uh, hopefully you do know some of these things, so, but we'll just go through it. So the axes are these lines that are drawn on the thing, and the first line, the vertical line is called the y axis and the horizontal line is called the x-axis. So, you know, every year kids keep mixing it up. So I suppose one way, if you can draw a y with a straight line, the straight line goes up and down. And so the y-axis is up and down and the x-axis is the other axis. Okay, so the axes are the x and the y-axis. Okay, now the whole diagram, this whole thing is called the number plane. So the whole diagram is called the number plane and we're gonna plot points and the points are called coordinates. So when I, you know, when I put a point here, that's gonna have a coordinate, it's gonna have an X number, it's gonna have some number, perhaps it's like three, and it might have a Y number, and it's called four. Okay, so the coordinate is the actual point, and when we label the point, we put the X first and the Y second, so we just follow alphabetical order. Okay, so uh, the word coordinate is just the word meaning a point. And the only other word I want to define here is the word origin, and the origin is in the middle, and that's got a coordinate, and the coordinate of the origin is zero, zero. So it has no X and has no Y, okay? Um, so we've got positive numbers going this way, we've got negative numbers going to the left, we have positive numbers going up, and we have negative numbers going down like a thermometer, okay? So we've defined the word axi, we have X and Y axi. The whole diagram is called the number plane. Coordinates are the points that we plot. Um, maybe in year seven you were joining points up to make a, a panda bear or something like that. Or you're playing battleships. And the origin is just the middle where the two uh, axes intersect. Okay, so copy that down and come across the next slide. So if I'm gonna plot points, okay, I've got some examples here. So I've got uh, four points and I've called them uh, a, B, C, and D, just to make it easier. So uh, alphabetical order, so the first point is the X, and the second point is the Y. So we've got, go across to three, and then go up to two, so that point is point A. Point B, it says minus one, so we go across to minus one, and go up to two, so that point is point B. Uh, point C is a tricky one, it has no X, and then it has four in the Y, and unfortunately I didn't even do a four, but that point up there would be point C right on the axis, so it has no X, and then it has four Y, so I go up to C, and the last point uh, has minus three for the X, so minus three for the X and has no Y, so that means it stops on the axis, and that's point D. Okay. Um, have a look, have a copy that down if you need to, and then come across the next slide. Okay, so you're gonna have a go at this yourself. I've got five points, I'm pretty sure I've got all, yes, I've got enough numbers, so I want you to pause, put the points on, and then check, check your answer in a minute. Okay, so we're looking at, I'll change color, just to make it different. So we've got three, one, so that's the point A, uh, minus two, four, so that's the point B, zero is in the middle, minus three, down there, so that's point C. One and no height, so that's the point D. Minus three and then minus four is down there, so that's the point E. Okay, so that's all you need to know for this one. So just how to plot points. Okay, hopefully that's straightforward.